एवरीवन सीज प्रोफेसर राघवेंद्र अध्यापक एल एस कोकटे कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स बेलगावी सो इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद नेक्स्ट कंसेप्ट कॉल्ड पी वी रेशियो सो वॉट इज पी वी रेशियो प्रॉफिट वॉल्यूम रेशियो इज द रेशियो विच इज यूज टू एक्सप्रेस द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ऑफ अ कंपनी ओके सो टू कैलकुलेट द पी वी रेशियो देर इज फॉर्मुला कॉल्ड पी वी रेशियो इज इक्वल टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन डिवाइडेड बाय सेल्स okay so according to the information available in the problem this formula will take certain changes so there are some other formula also as per the information available we use this formulas first one is pv ratio is equal to sales minus variable cost divided by sales next is pv ratio is equal to fixed cost plus profit or loss divided by sales next is pv ratio is equal to change in contribution divided by change in sales next is pv ratio is equal to change in profit or loss divided by change in sales so these are the certain formulas we use to calculate the pv ratio but most of the type we use the first formula that is pv ratio is equal to contribution divided by sales next what it pv ratio indicates pv ratio indicates that the rate at which profit is being earned okay a high pv ratio indicates high profitability low pv ratio indicates low profitability next is bep what is bep we already discussed that break even point is a position where the company earns no profit no loss means cost equal to total revenue correct so the sales volume which equates the total revenue with related cost and result neither profit nor loss is called break even point okay so to calculate the break even point the formula is bep is equal to fixed cost divided by pv ratio next is margin of safety margin of safety is the difference between the actual sales and sales at break even point sales beyond the break even volume brings in profit such sales represent margin of safety okay so in sim simple terms the margin of safety is nothing but the sales beyond the break even point okay so whatever sales done beyond the break even point that is known as margin of safety so margin of safety is equal to total sales minus break even sales okay margin of safety can also be calculated with the help of pv ratio okay so how to calculate it with the help of pv ratio margin of safety is equal to profit divided by pv ratio so this is the formula what we use to calculate the margin of safety with the help of pv ratio if same margin of safety is expressed in terms of percentage then margin of safety is equal to margin of safety into 100 divided by total sales this is the formula what we use to express the margin of safety in terms of percentage next we will solve one example okay what is the example selling price is rupees 150 per unit variable cost 90 per unit fixed cost 6 lakhs what is the break even point so first we have to calculate the break even point that is the first question next they asked what is the selling price per unit if break even point is 12000 units okay so first we will calculate the break even point okay so what is the formula to calculate pp fixed cost divided by contribution per unit okay so what is the fixed cost given 6 lakh rupees correct divided by contribution so what is the contribution how to calculate contribution is nothing but selling price minus variable cost so once we minus selling price and variable cost whatever amount remains that is called contribution okay now what is the selling price 150 minus what is the variable cost 90 so 150 minus 90 60 So six lakhs divided by sixty, ten thousand units is the break even point. Means when the company sells ten thousand units, at that time it will be in the break even point. Means no profit, no sales position. Okay. Second question: What is the selling price per unit if break even point is twelve thousand units? Okay. So in this case, they already given the break even point units. They are asking about what is the selling price okay so already we know what is the formula for break even point break even point is equal to fixed cost divided by contribution correct so already they given the break even point as 12000 correct so 12000 is equal to 
fixed cost how much 6 lakh divided by contribution so we don't know the contribution because how we calculate the contribution selling price minus variable cost correct so in this case they asked the selling price means we don't know the contribution correct so now we'll change the equation as to simplify the calculation so contribution is equal to 6 lakhs divided by 12000 okay so 6 lakhs divided by 12000 is equal to rupees 50 so that is what contribution okay now we know the contribution we know the variable cost so sales price we can easily calculate correct so what is the formula to calculate the contribution contribution is equal to sales minus variable cost just now we calculated contribution as 50 is equal to sales now we are calculating so write it sales as it is minus variable cost how much is the variable cost given in the problem 90 correct so sales is equal to so 50 remains as it is 90 minus 90 move to this left side now it become plus 90 so 50 plus 90 so sales is equal to 140 thus selling price is 140 when break even point is 12000 units okay so this is how we calculate the break even point next we will see another problem from the following figures ascertain the pv ratio and break even sales okay so from the following information we are going to calculate pv ratio and break even sales okay whatever information is given is sales is equal to 20 lakhs fixed cost 5 lakhs variable cost 12 lakhs okay now we have to calculate pv ratio and break even point first we will calculate the contribution okay why first we have to calculate contribution because what pv ratio formula says contribution divided by sales correct so while calculating pv ratio first contribution is required so for that first we will calculate the contribution okay how to calculate the contribution what is the formula sales minus variable cost correct now how much is the sales 20 lakhs less variable cost how much is the variable cost 12 lakhs so 20 lakhs minus 12 lakhs 8 lakhs is the contribution correct so now we can put the formula as pv ratio is equal to contribution divided by sales we know contribution correct now just now we calculated 8 lakh that is the contribution divided by sales how much is the sales given in the problem 20 lakhs so 8 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs how much is the answer 0.4 or 40 percent Okay, if you are keeping in the point, just keep it as 0.40, or if you want to express in terms of percentage, it will be 40 percent. Okay, next, next we said break even sales. We have to calculate. Correct. So what is the formula? Fixed cost divided by PV ratio. Correct. So what is the fixed cost already given in the problem? 5 lakh rupees. Correct. So 5 lakh divided by PV ratio. So what is the PV ratio? you can take it as 0.40 or you can take it full as 40% okay so don't take just 40 if you are taking take it fully as 40% with percentage you have to take okay so just you take 40 it will be wrong because it is 40% correct so take it as 40% or take it as 0.40 okay so 5 lakhs divided by 40% then 12 lakh 50000 so that is the break even sales okay next is another problem they have given that is r limited sold goods for 30 lakhs in a year in that year the variable cost were 6 lakhs and fixed cost 8 lakhs so now you have to find out pv ratio and break even sales so as it is last problem have we solved so first we have to calculate what contribution so what is the formula to calculate the contribution sales minus variable cost so how much is the sales 30 lakhs divided by sorry minus variable cost so how much is the variable cost 6 lakhs so 30 lakhs minus 6 lakhs 24 lakhs is the contribution so once we know the contribution we can put the formula pv ratio is equal to contribution divided by sales so how much is the contribution just now we calculated 24 lakh divided by sales already given 30 lakhs so 24 lakh divided by 30 lakhs 0.8 or 80% is the pv ratio 
next we have to calculate the BEP so BEP is equal to what is the formula fixed cost divided by PEB ratio correct so what is the fixed cost already given in the problem 8 lakh correct divided by PV ratio just now we calculated how much it is 80 percent okay so 8 lakh divided by 80 percent or 0.8 whichever is convenient to you you can take that so 8 lakh divided by 80 percent is 10 lakhs so that is the value of BEP okay